Corona Deca is a convenient way of projecting textures and materials onto surfaces. All right. To create Corona Decal, you can either do it like this, come over here in this standard primitive, like make sure you are in the create panel, standard primitives, then click it, go to Corona over here, you see see decal. Okay. Or you can just come over here. This is the icon on the tab. Just select it and then come over here. Draw it the way we draw plane, yeah, you know, plane object. Or you can hold control and it will draw it as a cube as opposed to the cuboid that we just drew you know before i already have materials that i've made for this don't worry it's just the same way we create you can see these are just normal material that we normal the normal way we create material but then you can add opacity map what opacity map simply means is that the areas that are white are the areas that are going to be visible while the areas that are black are going to be invincible or you can just go to chaos cosmos okay Go to Chaos Cosmos. This is Chaos Cosmos browser. You go there, you search, you see presets for Corona decals. You can use them. I think I got this one from Chaos Cosmos. Let's go ahead and apply this material to this cover. Select it. And I'm apply this to it. Let me select this one and I apply. Let me apply this to it. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. So after applying this material, you can, you can see without even without doing any interactive render, you can already see that this is squished up, is 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 stretched. So fix that. Just come over to the modify modify tab. You see fit to bit bitmap, and you see fit to assign material. If you are applying this in from a material that we are, you have already created, this is going to be the fastest way. So if you click it, it is going to adjust the size, just like we do with a uh, UVW mapping. Okay, it's going to adjust the size to fit the appropriate size that it's supposed to be. All right. If you click on bit and um, fit to bitmap, it will take you to where you are going to select the bitmap that you're going to use to fit it. All right. But now it's material that we used to do this stuff. So we're going to fit it as to assigned material. So let's start interactive render. Come on. Okay, you can see the the cover, the manhole cover that we just applied as it is showing here and then this road marking. So when you select this, let's take a look at what we are having here. You can see marked socks. But before we even talk about this marked socks, let's talk about this first option here. This is um, zero object excluded. This is how you exclude objects in the scene that the, that the decal is not going to be projected on. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to move it towards where the car is and I'm going to raise it up a little bit. So when you raise it, you find out that it is being projected on this car. But when I come over here, select this car. Sorry. When I come over here and click on this plus button and select this car, you can see it is now being projected on the floor and no longer on the car. So if you move it around, it is going to move around, but it will be moving underneath that car. That is because I've excluded the car from it. All right. So you in see mask source you can mask this thing this is the mask this black stuff here is the mask so you can mask it from here or you can choose to mask it from with another type of map let's say i i choose to use this okay let's say the checker map is what i want to use i want to have to drag it and plug it inside the no map and say instance all right so now when i change it to that as the map you see it is now mapping it with that checker remember when it comes to masking the areas that are white becomes visible where the areas that are black becomes invincible and when they become invincible what shows becomes the base material so i'm going to go back to from material so now when you are doing this stuff if you already have the the mask in here the material is going to provide the mask for you because i already plugged it in here but if you don't have it and you have something else you can use you can just plug it over here at the maps now the size of this thing let me create another one so we can demonstrate that size aspect okay I'm going to come over here, select another decal, and I'm going to create it like that. Let me apply the road mark to it. As you can see, that's been applied. And then move it. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and exclude this from, exclude the car from it, because it's supposed to be like the, like the, cover is supposed to be on the floor so now that i've done that i can come over here and adjust the size of this the way i want it okay 
yeah so i'm just gonna move it over like that like so and that becomes our crossing roadmap the zebra crossing okay so that's it for the sizing then you can fit to bitmap as well or fit to assign material okay just like that and there you have it you can use this to alter it the way you want it to be the choice is yours then you see the product the the projection let me come over here so we can see it pro properly okay this projection is what controls the depth so if if i increase it you see how big it gets it gets and if i reduce, you see how small it gets to demonstrate the the max angle limit i'm going to use this eight you know this eight the car so i'm going to just drag it somewhere above the car like so okay when i do that you notice that this eight is applied on the body down to the floor there is no gap but when i use this mass angle limit if i change it to anything less than 180 it is going to you're going to see that it's not going to be applied all over the place there will be some place that will be clipped off take for instance when i when i make it like 45 degrees you can see you can see that some of these um, the part of the car we are clipped off because they are not horizontal okay they are not at 180 degrees okay max blow helps with uh, the edges okay when you when i increase it you find out that it becomes you know smoother there is a, tra a soft transition between the areas where the car is projected and area where it is not okay as you can see but if i should make it zero see how sharp it becomes all right the corona decal can form a stack what do i mean by that you know depending on how you place them it that will determine the one that will appear to be at the top okay take for instance let me take this thing to this view so that we understand it better. okay you find out that um we have three corona decals here this is higher than this and this is higher than this what that means is that this is going to be on top of these two this is going to be underneath this but on top of this and this is going to be underneath all of underneath all of them let's take a look and see you can see the crossing map where it is if i should move this eight you'll find out that the eight is underneath that that crossing mark not above if i should move this manhole manhole cover you'll find out that it is underneath the crossing and if i should bring it close to this eight you find out that it is above the eight right that is because it is above that eight over here all right so that's what i mean by when i said that it can be able to form stacks all right now let's take a look at let's take a look at the effect base rollers starting with corona 10 you can specify the base object material channels a corona decal object should affect but take note that the decal and the base material need to be corona physical material in order for decal channels to work properly if a channel is enabled it replaces the corresponding base material channel where the decal is projected if a channel is disabled example color base material color will be used instead okay if you disable this one you find out that the base material you can still see the man let me make this big you can still see the man who cover here but um as you can see it is using the base material color let me move it so that to a place where we are going to see it properly so when i bring it here you can see you're not seeing the material but you're seeing yeah you're seeing that it is using the base material to make the material out all right so let me move it over here find out that um, you will notice it on the ground but it's no longer there all right so that's what happens when you uncheck the colors if you want to see what happens when you check others you can play with them all right so depending on what you are trying to you know project on the surface you will now know whether or not to turn these things on or off now the rest tons of other things that are not listed here okay when you click on it it is going to turn those ones off one other thing i want us to realize is that this corona the car can also be projected vertically let me select this okay not only horizontally on ground surfaces you can actually rotate it and it's going to project by the side like so so it can also be projected by the side of the object like this so it's not only 
project it from top down. You can project it on a wall. You can project it on the ceiling. Anyhow you want to do it, you just have to rotate it for it to be able to cut through that, you know, stuff. Because the way Corona Deca work is that it will be projected onto, onto surface which intersect with its bounding boss. So if we move the decal object, the bounding boss is no longer cutting through the surface you want to project it on. It will not show. Okay? It's going to result to no projection at all. Alright? So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.